Hey. Hi guys, so there is a crazy, hot, amazing new makeup trend that is going around. And since I am the next big up and coming male makeup artist, I decided that it's my duty to teach you guys how to do this amazing look. I'm the expert at all things makeup, especially eyebrows, and I'm here to tell you how to do this. This is a makeup tutorial on how to do squiggly eyebrows. Rude. My dog's excited. If you've been living under a rock like my mom, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But basically, it's this incredible new trend that looks like this. I'm not sure who started or how it started, but the first thing that I thought of were like two snakes squiggling around, so maybe Taylor Swift started this in a secret way as like a marketing scheme since she just dropped her new song and music video and it was snake themed. In fact, I bet, you know what, I bet Taylor and her team paid people to start this trend to promote her new music. Queen of snakes, good for you, Taylor. But it also looks like the little dance that Squidward does from Spongebob. So you can pretend like your nose is Squidward and he's just dancing with his arms above your eyes. It's incredible. Who wouldn't want that look on their face? So don't worry, you're in luck. I am here to teach you guys how to do squiggly eyebrows. If you want to know how, then keep on watching. Also, I'm a little freaked out and on edge because the other night somebody broke into my car. By the way, if it was in my driveway. And it's 2 a.m. right now and it happened in the middle of the night the other night, so I'm a little freaked out. My car is literally parked right behind this window, so hopefully I'm safe, but if something happens, at least I'm filming. That'll be great clickbait. I did film a vlog over my vlog channel if you want to see and hear me talk about the whole situation. So go check out my vlog channel and watch that video. But enough of that hoopla. Let's jump right into the tutorial. All right, so here's what you will need. An eyebrow pencil. I recommend Anastasia Beverly Hills. They're great. A mirror. I don't have one, so I'm gonna use my viewfinder. Makeup wipes in case you make a mistake so you can erase the mistake and keep on going. I don't need these though because I'm perfect. And last but certainly not least, you're gonna need a copy of Kesha's brand new album, Rainbow. You can buy it in stores now or get it on iTunes. And then of course, you obviously need a face to do it. You don't have to have eyebrows if you've shaved them off for any reason. In fact, just shave them off. It'll actually make it easier because you don't have eyebrows in the way. So I'm not gonna do this because I just, I don't. So, but if you're watching, make sure you shave off your eyebrows for a clean slate so you can just draw on the new squiggles. The color I use is caramel because I'm sweet and delicious. All right, so first what you wanna do is trace the line so we can fill it in afterwards. So channel your inner Squidward, channel your inner snake. Pretend like you're Taylor Swift releasing her video. Just bring out the snake inside of you. This is gonna be hard. Usually I use a mirror to do my eyebrows, but I'm such a professional and incredible makeup artist that I can do this with a tiny little screen. Here we go. Trace the snake. Like that. Perfect. You can go any size you want. I say the bigger the better. The bigger Squidward's arms are going and with that beat, the bigger the snake, the bigger... You know what they say, the bigger the snake, the more she can... Okay, then just try to match the other eyebrow. You want them to be symmetrical, you want them to be the exact same design so it looks good. I am perfect, so mine obviously will be, but just letting you guys know, since none of you guys out there had not had to make up, which is why you clicked on this video. So just start the... Yes, snake it up. Look what you made me do! Taylor Swift is screaming. So once you have your snake outlines drawn like so, you are gonna start to just fill them in. A good tip to know is think about like, it's just two snakes, here's the head right here. The snakes are hungry, they want a snack, they're gonna come chomp on your nose. So imagine this is the head. So you want the head to be at the, it's like the base starting right there. Let me make these match. And then think about that as the tail. So it's like, it's like they're like slithering onto your nose. So after that, you're gonna have to go back and make the full body. This is just the initial trace to get the idea, but now you have to make like the actual full eyebrow shape. Gotta just connect. I'm gonna use my phone as a mirror. Life hack, if you're out and about and you need your makeup, you don't have a, a mirror, use your phone. I thought of that one myself. And let's make the other snake. That's a fat tail. There we go. Amazing. So there's the two snakes just hanging out, slithering around, or Squidward's hands doing.
doing a dance if you want to go for that. All right, so once you've made the snake bodies, next all you have to do is fill them in. If you shaved off your eyebrows beforehand, this will be a lot easier to do. It's gonna be a challenge for me because I didn't shave mine off, just because I want to show you guys how good I am at this. Just start filling her in. Yes. Hiss, hiss, bish. Another one on the eyebrow. And done. Um, sorry, I wanted to skip ahead of the boring part of me just tracing it. Didn't want you guys to do that. Um, I definitely did not go cheat and go up to my bathroom and look in the mirror. I did it all right here, of course. Um, but yeah, there's one eyebrow done. There is the slithery, slithery snake. Lord of Voldemort is pissed. Taylor Swift is quaking. Also, by the way, since I'm so brilliant with makeup, I think of ideas off the bat all the time. I did just have the idea to make these like literal snakes. At the end, after I do the normal thing, I'm gonna go in and try to find some kind of color or something where I can make some eyes and a, a little um, tongue and maybe some like designs down the snake to make these like literal snake eyebrows. Like I'm gonna go the extra mile just for y'all. So this just became a how to make a snake, a squiggly Slytherin snake eyebrow. We're here. And done. Boom. That's it. There we go. There is the squiggly eyebrows. This is why I have a career in makeup. All right, I am going to add more to this and turn these into actual snakes with like eyes and tongue and design and stuff. So stay tuned. But before these babies turn into snakes, I'm going to make them dance so they can be. Right now, they're Squidward arms. I'm also a professional eyebrow dancer. All right, so to turn these Squidward arms into hissy, scary, Slytherin, Taylor Swift-inspired snakes, all you're gonna need is some kind of like colored makeup. I don't have any, and I'm just so crafty and intuitive, and I work with what I have because I'm that good of a makeup artist. I'm gonna be using colored pencils. You can do the same if you want to. Anything just with color will work. Markers, lipstick, the blood of your haters, whatever you want. It'll work. So like I said, we have the two heads right here. Think of it this way. The nose is the number one spot on the charts and the snakes are Taylor Swift. She's slithering her way up the charts to grab into that number one spot. Okay, so we're gonna give them red eyes because that's scary and the most intimidating. You can use this look to scare off your haters. If you're called a snake by your haters like Taylor Swift has, embrace the snake and use it against them. Or if you're in the Slytherin house from Harry Potter and you wanna embrace your house animal, do this. If you're Gryffindor, sorry, I'm not, I'm not about to do lion eyebrows. Oh my god, I'm so silly. I just realized that I actually have a mirror. Fun, just slay. Hopefully this shows up. Well, well, well. <laughs> it's not. But I have another idea, I'll be right back. All right, everyone relax, don't worry. So the colored pencils were a bust, but I was testing y'all. If y'all saw me say to use these and you were like, Ricky, those won't work, then you passed. It was a test and you passed it, congratulations. The real way to do this, actually, is to just basically get any kind of bright makeup product, whether that's like bright lipsticks, like this Kat Von D Everlasting, or eyeshadows. But you still want a fine tip. You know, you can't use like a, a lipstick thing and make an eye. So, you're still gonna wanna use a colored pencil because they have fine tips. So what you're gonna wanna do is grab the color you want. I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna do red eyes still. So get bright red lipstick and then just dip the pencil in the lipstick goop. So you can just blot on, that was close to my eyeball. <laughs> There we go. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the snakiest, slitheriest one of all? Oh, actually it's magic mirror. Mandela effect. Yes, yes. That is an eyeball. Yes, look at those eyes. Can y'all see that? Yes. Just in case you can't see that clearly because of my setup, I'm gonna take pictures when this is done and show it clear, more clearly. Clearly. I'm so glad I have a career in makeup. I get to make up cool stuff like this all the time and call it my job. <laughs> so do the other eye so that the twin snakes can match. You want Taylor to match her twin sister. <gasps> oh my god, conspiracy theory. Taylor Swift has a twin that no one knows about. The proof's right here. Boom, boom. Yes, yes. Hissing, get it? Fun. Okay, so now we want to do the snake tongue. I'm not sure color what to do. I could do blue, I could do a blue tongue. Let's see, velour. So just kind of like trace. Oh, it's like crumbly. Hope this works. I mean, of course it'll work. I know what I'm doing here. Yes. Oh my God, fun. Slither on over there. Yes, look at that tongue. You know what, I'm gonna name them. So this is Taylor 
and her twin sister, Snailer. No, Quailer, cause she's quaking. Fun, Taylor and Quailer. Yes, or should it be Quakler? Snakler and Quakler. That's it, Snakler and Quakler. Now, I do wanna give it some kind of like fun design cause snakes always have incredible designs like along their back and stuff. I, I wanna do green cause I feel like green is a known snake color. Just like the emoji. So we're just gonna do fun green blocks. Cause they're blocking out the haters. These are the hater blockers. Yes, everything. It's a little dark. Should I do a lighter color? Ooh, ooh, this one's called Flash. It's orange. I love the shell of the Flash. See the one on the end? I'm gonna, you know what? That, I feel like that will pop. Get yourself a normal, just small brush. Flash, because Barry Allen is my king. Yes. Yes, yes, we are here. We're making Snakeler look so good. Okay, so Snakeler is done. Hiss, 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 yes. So I decided that I'm gonna make Quakeler a different color just to show y'all contrast. I wish I had like a bright neon color, like a neon green, that'd be amazing, but I don't, so I gotta make do with what I have because I'm just that good of a makeup artist. I use what I have, but if y'all have a bright color, I'd say go for it. I'm gonna start with a white, which is linen, and I'm gonna do the white designs because it'll show up really well and pop, but there's more. I'm gonna go back over it with this one. It's called Tinsel. It's literally just like silver silver glitter. It's like tinsel on a Christmas tree. It's popping. And here's why. Snakler, Taylor Swift, is in the spotlight. She gets all the fame and the money and everything. Like, she's the star. Quakler is Taylor's unknown twin. She's locked up in a basement. She's pissed. She wants the spotlight. So, we're gonna make Quakler be a little bit prettier. We're gonna give her some tinsel and make her really pop to outshine her star of a sister. Yes. Okay, fun. Okay, so here's how it looks with all the white. But now we're gonna go back over it with the tinsel to give Quakler the pop she needs. And boom. And there we have it, I added the tinsel. Yes, Quakler, you look so good. Everything, Snakler, Quakler. Wow, so that's it. That's it. Since I am a, you know, a professional top tier beauty guru, I have to do one of those montages where I just model and pose and show y'all off the look I just did. And I would use Look Which Made Me Do as the music, but I don't wanna have to deal with copyright. So instead, I'll use this. I'm the fascinating snake. I can make you with fear shake. I'm a reptile in tropical regions found. I live in hollows of trees, in grass and sand. All right guys, well that's it. That's how you make squiggly and then snake eyebrows. Hope this tutorial helped you guys out. If you guys do this look, tweet to me on Twitter or post on Instagram and tag me. If you didn't know, I'm Ricky P. Dale on Twitter, Ricky Dale on Instagram, go follow them. And if you couldn't tell, <laughs> um, hopefully you watched to the end because I just wanna say, this video was satire. The whole thing was a joke, purposefully being sarcastic, so I hope none of you guys took me seriously when I said things like, I am an amazing makeup artist, I'm the best one ever. I just wanted to have fun with this video and do something ridiculous. Also, by the way, I love Taylor Swift. All the snake jokes and everything wasn't intended to be hateful. Taylor herself twisted that stuff around and used snakes to promote herself, so that wasn't hate. Thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this. Love y'all, and stay Slytherin. Okay, guys, see ya later. I'm the fascinating snake. I can make you with fear shake. I'm a 